Hi everyone, my name is Mook. I am from Axel Coffee Roaster. Today I'm going to be showing you how to brew a V60. To start off with, what you will need is the V60, which today I'm using the one from Hario. Next thing you need is the scale, which can tell you how much water is actually going into your coffee and can tell you the time. Next thing you will need, of course, is the coffee that's roast for filter. And today I'm using coffee from Colombian. I'll be using 15.5 grams of the coffee. Next thing I will need is the coffee grinder. Don't forget your kettle. Today I'm using 230 mils of water at 93 degrees. And we also need a decanter. And don't forget, filter paper. Now that we have everything that we needed, let's start the brewing. First of all, I'm gonna pop my V60 on top of the coffee scale, followed by the canter and filter paper, which this is going to fit perfectly in our V60. Pop that in. And I have pre-weighed my coffee, which is 15.5 grams, and we're gonna grind them. coffee is ready, the water is ready, let's begin. I'll start off with pouring hot water on top of my V60. This is going to help you to warm up your V60, the decanter, and get rid of that papery notes in your coffee at the end. Don't forget to throw this water out. Now next, we're going to pop our coffee grounds into our V60. So we need a 15.5 gram dose. Now I'm making my coffee beds deep, so that's going to help with the extraction as well. Tear it and let's brew some coffee. I'm pouring 30 grams of water in. This is called a blooming phase, so that is going to help the coffee that's released gas that's trapped in the coffee bean and also get the coffee ready for the next phase. At 30 seconds, I'm pouring in 100 grams of water. So I'm pouring in from the end and all the way to the outside. And now we wait. This coffee I'm choosing today tastes like mandarin, apricot and peach. Oh my God, delicious. And now at one minute, we're going to add 100 grams more of the water. The water temperature I'm using today for this particular coffee is at 92 degrees. And at 1 minute 30 seconds, I'm pouring the rest of the water to make it up to 235 grams. There you go. So now we're going to wait until 2 minutes and a half. If your coffee is running a lot faster, like two minutes or something, means your coffee ground is too coarse. Or if your coffee is running too long, like two minutes or three minutes and a half with this particular coffee, which means if the coffee is too fine. Perfect. There you go. Now we have our delicious Colombian coffee. Mmm. Look at my beautiful cup. Let's have a taste. 